Um, hi, everyone. Like, uh, like Johanna said, I'm Erica. I'm a master's in library and information science at the iSchool UW, graduating in June. Um, my focus is on the role of libraries and librarianship um, in a changing climate. Um, so I'm not going to give you guys all the details about climate change, because I know you know what climate change is, and I know that you know it's happening because the news and all that real, real news um, has told you. So I'm not going to give you a bunch of you know, background info, but I will just show you the seriousness of climate change and how it's happening and we're already in it. Um, and that's what I want you to take from this as part of it is that we are living in a climate crisis um, and what we're experiencing today is only going to worsen over time. Um, with that, um, in her book, Great Tide Rising, author Kathleen Dean Moore explains that climate change is a threat to humanity. Um, but it, that it's also an economic problem, a national security problem, a technological problem, and a moral problem. And with that, she insists that it needs a moral response. Um, scientific discourse is based on facts, while moral discourse is based on what's right and what's wrong. Um, and not only do we need to get past the discourse, but we also need to, right now, it needs to be about action. Um, basically, so what does this have to do with libraries? Um, this is the ALA's definition of libraries, and what I would really want to pull out from it is that libraries are meant to advance society as a whole. They have a mission of educating and a mission of informing. Um, and libraries are amazing. There's a reason I want to be a librarian. Um, they do a lot of amazing things for their communities. They offer free and educational resources. They serve as refuge um, for a lot of people. They make communities healthier. Um, you, know, you know why libraries are great. Um, but what are libraries doing to respond to climate change? Um, there's not a lot that I found in my research. There's collection development and making sure that work is available in libraries, that publications and resources are available, um, and also that the ALA has just announced that they've added sustainability to their um, values. Um, but for the most part, libraries have, in truth, um, they've failed to respond to climate change in a lot of ways. Um, and so basically, the point of this is that libraries need to do more. <clears throat> um, science has been telling us uh, what is happening for decades, and libraries have failed to make this crisis public knowledge. And knowledge is essential. What is the point of knowledge if we're not going to act upon it? Um, and so the point of this is to emphasize how climate change affects libraries. Um, all of the things that libraries are facing today, as I stated earlier, they're going to worsen tomorrow. Um, there's going to be a rise in climate refugees and food insecurity and um, extreme events. And libraries not only will have damages, but they're going to have new um, people and communities coming in. Their communities are going to change, and we need to help address those communities and to meet their needs. Um, so how do we prepare? Encourage changes now both with your staff and with your patrons, and build resilience. Um, some specific examples is that, or, or some specific examples for what libraries could do. Um, some libraries I've found are doing a lot of displays. I created one here in our library. Um, but other things that libraries could do is to, um, uh, sorry, co-sponsor river and lake cleanups, work alongside and with indigenous communities, um, do programming that teaches sustainable ways of growing food, um, and build, have resilience and empathy building workshops. Um, the biggest thing is going to be listening to the community, which is what libraries do, um, but also encourage and incentivize changes among our patrons, but also among ourselves. Um, we need to make changes among ourselves so that we don't come off as hypocrites, but that we come off as people who genuinely want to make changes. And we, libraries have, um, <laughs> um, libraries have always done a great amount of work in their communities, but with climate change, we need to act now. Um, because like I said, we're already living in a climate crisis. We can't change what's going to happen, but we can begin to prepare. 